Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, February 17, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and, uh, and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, we have run into uh, quite a lot of resistance here, roughly at the uh, 13 and 94. Um, and at the moment, yes, it's about time to pull back. We have been outside of the Bollinger Band here for for several days now. And usually that means that we'll, we'll pull back towards the uh, middle of the Bollinger Band or the 20 exponential moving average here. So we may see this continue for the next two or three days towards the 20 exponential, the 40 or the 50 moving average, as those are the moving averages where we have seen these bounces um, for the last few months. You can see the 50 here, the 40, the 20, the 40, and so on and so on. So pullbacks towards the 20 and the 40 and the 50, there are, they are possible buying opportunities. We are getting very overstretched here. We can see uh, we're also at 64 here in the RSI. It's not very high, but considering how much this has rallied recently, it is uh, it is expected to pull back. So we have started. If we get an additional red candlestick here uh, tomorrow, it is fairly likely that we'll go towards the 20 exponential. You can see the MACD is still very bullish. The stochastic is very bullish and the uh, CCI is still bullish at this point point. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. As you can see, we have rallied all the way up towards the 300 moving average as was expected. We are running into massive resistance at this point. If we break the 300 moving average and get a red green candlestick above here, then it is very likely that we will start trending above the 300 moving average. At the moment, 300 is um, acting as resistant. We're also at the edge here of the Bollinger Band. We're also approaching uh, overbought territory. We're at 67 here in the RSI, but other indicators are extremely bullish at this point. So just keep that in mind. We could go uh, significantly higher if we break the 300 moving average. So let's look at the Euro US dollar. And as you can see, we have been all over the place today as was for many other uh, currencies that we also were looking at. They looked very promising, and in the end, they basically completely turned around and, uh, and, uh, and went bearish. So you, uh, Euro, US dollar, we broke down you know, 50 moving average here, and then we broke down, and now we're trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. Technical indicators are turning around slowly. So we, if we break the 20 exponential, that means that we could go towards the 100 moving average. And uh, yes, we'll basically see. The stochastic is turning around, so it is fairly likely that we'll go lower from here. But we need to break the 20 exponential in order to get to these levels here. We found major support at the 150 moving average. So if we fall below the 100, then 150 will most likely be at the very bottom of this. So we also hit the top of the Bollinger Band, and now we're just, we had tested also the middle, and then we're basically just right here in the middle of all of this. So at this point, I would just say, uh, look where this basically is going. If it breaks the 50 and we start trending above the 50, then it is possible to, to, to buy into this. But at this moment, moment, it can go either way. So let's look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. We have fallen, which was very expected as uh, we are we were approaching the top here of the Bollinger Band. And if you look at the past, every time we have gotten close to the top of the Bollinger Band, we have had major pullbacks either to the middle of the Bollinger Band or to the very bottom of the Bollinger Band. So at this point, we could expect this to go towards the 20 exponential or even lower than that, roughly around this area here, which is at 0 0.76 before we continue rallying. You can also see the technical indicators here are turning around. Stochastic has crossed the signal line and the RSI is becoming also bearish and the CCI is becoming bearish. We're at, we were uh, at overbought territory. So 
and we were at the top of the bullish band. So it was expected for a pullback. But if we could pull back here and then rally because long-term target here is 0 0.8. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have rallied as also was expected. We are most likely going towards the middle of the bullish band here, which is at 12, 75, 60, which is right at the 50 moving average. So the last time we were at the 50 moving average was right here. And then we had a breakdown of roughly 1.13%. So we could see another rally towards the 50 moving average and then turn around to, to go lower. We were very low in the RSI. So at this point, technical indicators are expected to turn around whether or not we get a major rally similar to this one. Uh, that is to be seen. We need to break the 50 moving average in order to go higher from here. But pullbacks are selling opportunities at this, or rallies are selling opportunities at this point. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.